Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Thursday, June 12th, 2014. Okay, um, yesterday's news, eh, the only thing that I don't understand the status report. I don't know what it means if it's up or it's down. I really don't know what that means. Especially if it it's not like out of range or anything. If it's not making any sort of big moves one way or the other, I guess it doesn't really mean anything. Which is pretty typical for any sort of news. If it's uh, if what you're hearing is expected, then you've probably already acted on it. Treasury budget, though, is just kind of interesting. Um, the pink color, or salmon, or I don't know what color this is, sort of looks pink, is for this year. And you can see that there was um, positive revenue, and this is basically the whole budget for by month, and how much was taken in or collected in revenue for taxes. Big month, of course, is always April when people who owe money wait until the last possible second to send their check in to Uncle Sam. But overall, uh, you can see, and it's you know looking a little bit more positive, uh, the deficit for this year probably won't be as bad as it has been in the past. Um, you know, like a trillion dollars or more a year. It's probably on track now. Uh, let's see here. Um, they don't really say what they're projecting for the year. But a um, little bit better this month than last year. And or a little bit worse than last year and a little bit better than the year before and or worse I'm sorry I'm, this is negative numbers <laughs> um, so you can you can see I mean there is quite a deficit for the month of May and that's not debt deficit is how much um, more you're spending than what you're taking in and debt is what you owe and what you borrowed. So don't let those two terms get confused because politicians like to mix and match those terms depending on what they're trying to say. Um, you know, if they're uh, trying to tell you that things are okay, a lot of times they use the deficit and you know, it's going to reduce the deficit by $10 billion over 10 years. I'm sorry, a billion dollars a year out of trillions of dollars that you spend, you're going to save. I'm not impressed. And when they project out over 10 years, of course, um, that's if everybody else who follows them each year does the same thing or upholds what they have done. And a lot of times they just stop doing it. You know, so... The beat goes on, I guess you could say. All right, so for today, we have jobless claims, retail sales, import and export prices all at 8.30, kind of a heavy day at 8.30 anyway, and then business inventory is at 10 o'clock, and then that's it for the day. So let's jump over and take a look at what's going on on either side of us here. Asia was um, mixed. Europe uh, um, bullish across the board all green over there okay and then uh, let's see here I wanted to tell you well let's go here and take a look at uh, ours first so the futures here look like as though they're going to open up slightly gold is up two dollars and ninety cents overnight and oil is whoa up a buck seventy two to a hundred and six dollars and thirteen cents a barrel. Wow, that's pretty high. I think the the previous high was like a hundred and ten. Let's take a quick look at the chart here. Um, yes. Yeah. 
if we were to let's go to uh, weekly yeah, yeah yeah whatever 112 was the previous high this is kind of a big move here ladies and gentlemen all right uh, back to this anything else um, that I wanted to look at how's the VIX doing the VIX is at 1160 <laughs> what a joke man that is low very low so the VVIX I believe is a index tradable product on the VIX but I generally as a rule don't uh, pay a lot of attention to that all right yesterday only thing I did was, uh, well, two things. I tried to get in on Visa and uh, order one execute. It must have been moving too fast. We'll take a look at that in a minute. And I did enter <clears throat> a bear call on the Russell, and it's at 1,200. And what I did was I used the quarterly expiration. Let's take a look at what we got going here for RET. Close this and open this. Okay, so um, I had all these option expirations, but I really I wanted something at 1,200, and I didn't want to really go into July. So I ended up, <clears throat> excuse me, on June 5, which if you look at a calendar, June 5 is a quarterly, which is the last last. Um, day of the month and it's p.m. settled so this uh, settlement is based on the closing price on the 30th um, one two three four fifth expiration I guess you could say for uh, June so which is why they call it June 5 and if you ever want to um, learn anything about that you can go here to this document which I just typed in the search engine um, RUT quarterlies and this popped up so they expire on the last business day of each quarter and they are PM settled so we have June 2014, September, December, March, and December of 2015. So if you want to do something that far out, uh, you can. I would be willing to bet you could probably do a spread um, way up there, and chances are it's never going to get there. That would be something interesting to look at. Very interesting. Uh, and I might do that sometime. But anyway, that's uh, what we found there. Okay, so that's where I entered it. And like I mentioned, Visa never did uh, execute for me. So we're at least still in something. We got into something yesterday. All right, Apple. Uh, heading for our target. Amazon taking its ever loving time heading for this target Boeing uh, we are down we have a setup on Boeing I don't really like this oh and I read something about uh, one of the Dubai or something canceled like a hundred Airbus contracts or airplanes something like that I don't know why they would buy so many but I think I heard that they canceled them and I don't know if Boeing is getting cancellations or not I'm not sure but regardless of what you might read in the news we trade by the charts so we'll just kind of keep an eye on this this is the one that we come back at 3.30 and take a look at big drop at the open and then it kind of held its own so maybe it'll come back it could be a very good trade 
Alright, let's take a look at Baidu, which we are in right now. Baidu's doing fine. Um, even though, oh, we are up 140 on that. F5 Networks is the one that's acting strangely. Acting very strangely. But this one's doing well. Alright, Celgene. Oh, do we have anything else on Baidu? Do we have any secondary entries? No, we do not. Okay. Celgene. Heading down to our target. We'll wait for it to get there. Chipotle. Um, tried to get down to our target. Looks like it's going to resume its uptrend. Costco. Uh, we are in setup mode in Costco. We were there yesterday as well, but uh, you can see it didn't uh, work out, so we stayed away. We are not counting days yet because it didn't bend back up. We don't have a green hook. That's when we start counting days. So um, we're still in setup mode. Not alert at this time. CVX, waiting for it to hit our target. Let's slide it over. Let's take a look at the Dow. Did not have a good day yesterday. Um, nothing to, I guess, uh, worry about at this point. Igor. Had a very good day. Um, might be able to chase trade this one. I'm going to just make a note of it here to take a look at it today. Those trades have not been working out very well. Uh, but we do have a little bit of a hook here. We had it back here. We had a little bit of a hook here. Um, this is not following rules, but we are down here to 49.41 as shown in this box here when I put my cursor on that particular one. So you know, that's a risky trade, riskier than what I like, but still has a possibility. All right, FedEx. This was our FedEx that we got out of. I got out of this yesterday, didn't I? Um, but I don't see it on my log. I would have exited. I did exit this yesterday and took the lumps on it. I'm pretty sure I was in it. <laughs> uh, F5. This is the strange one. F5. Yes, it continues its march up. Um, and it's threatening our um, level up here, waiting for it to pull back. It's, it's on quite a march here. Um, we may have to get out of that today, too. We're only down 56 bucks at the moment. And let's take a look here. And I thought that uh, when I got this hook here, I thought that that was a good thing, and it wasn't. So we may have to consider getting out of this today. We'll have to take a close look at it. Easy way to do this is just put, I'm going to put an alert here above the, well, it's not above the high from yesterday. Here's the high from yesterday. Uh, so, anyway, um, 113.39, 113.39, at or above, bingo, so there we are, <clears throat> okay, um, that's not an alertable trade, that's an exit alert, gold, I think it's clawing its way back slowly, Still not anywhere near where I would want to even start to consider uh, 
selling a call against my position on this. Not quite there yet. I need to be like up around here, around 125 or so. So we have a ways to go. No other trades on this one at this time though. Google. All right, heading down to our target. LinkedIn. Mm, let's see. What is we're still trying to figure out what LinkedIn is doing here. So we're just gonna observe for right now. We got 3M heading down into our target. It's almost in a setup. Need this uh, stochastic to get down below 30 to be a setup. NDX. I had a pretty strong day yesterday when the Dow had a pretty bad day. So that's a good sign for them. Or for it, I should say. Netflix. Uh, almost hit our target. Is that close enough? Is this trend strong enough? Now we don't have confirmation. So I'm going to put that you know, I'm gonna. I'll be taking a look at it at 3:30. I usually try to look at everything at 3:30 if I have time. If I don't have time, just those that. Whoa. Um, wow, that is quite a move on Priceline. Uh, considering that it was just kind of like marching down, looked like everybody was bailing. I bet you it's news. News of some sort. Um, is this enterable? Yes, it is. This is alertable. So I'm going to put an alert on here. We're um, playing both sides of this because it kind of couldn't figure out what the heck it was going to be doing. Uh, so if we're at or above, that's what we're looking for. If it opens up today, uh, we just might get in this at, this is a 10 a.m. trade, or a half hour after the open. If it's moving up, and it's definitely a 50 delta, definitely. All right, uh, we looked at the Russell, kind of beat it to death a little bit. Um, and when we get down here, and if we get a hook down here, we will condorize this particular trade up here. So we'll pick the same expiration, and we'll do something on the bull put side. And it won't take any more of our trading capital away, because both of these cannot expire in the money, only one. So when they calculate um, buying power effect, if I put an iron condor on with the same expiration, uh, it won't affect the buying power at all. Which is one of the good things about iron condors besides sort of doubling your money. Provided you can get in soon enough after you get in the first one, you have to get in with like two or three days after that to do the other side. So we'll see if that works out for us. And it just might, based on what's happening this morning. SPX. And, you know, I don't, I'm not going to be staying in these very long. SPX did not have a good day either, although it looks like a better day than the Dow. Um, we are very close to being in setup here. We'll take a look at that today. If we get a little bit of a hookup, we might just jump in on a 20 delta on a hook here. So we'll take a look at SPX later. I'm going to put that down as a 20 delta. TLT. Um, a little shaky right now. We have, some con we have conflicting information on moving averages. I'm just not going to do anything at this time with TLT. Tesla. We're trying to figure out which direction this puppy's moving. I have to say that it appears to be moving down, but I don't know yet. 
So I'm going to let this one simmer just a little bit more. Uh, Visa, this is where I was trying to get in. Uh, and it wouldn't give me my price in the last half hour. So kind of missed on that one. Um, yeah, that's a shame. Uh, is it too late? We have one, two, three days here and one day on confirmation. I don't know. I might, I'll write it down for a 20 delta. But I'm just not really sure that I would do anything with that at this time. Okay, that concludes the scan for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.